Hi guys! How do we run a single cable from the PoE and VR to install four IP cameras? Today we receive a case from one of our customers. Let's see what happened to him. Our customers already installed one wire under the ground to a parking lot. He wants to add a PoE switch to get more PoE port for the IP cameras and link back to one of the PoE ports of the PoE and VR to feed four cameras from it. Some of the cameras are 328 feet away from the PoE and VR. To pull cable for each camera will be too complicated and cost a lot. So does he have to pull the cables? Not really. He can simply add a PoE switch to deal with the problem. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a single Cat5e or Cat6 cable to install four cameras. Now, if you have any problem with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description below. Send us some simple drawing or some diagram and we'll be more than happy to assist your problem with you for completely free of charge. So our customer's initial plan is to add a switch in order to get more ports for the IP cameras. Now he hoped the switch can be powered by the PoE and VR, but he doesn't know how to set up, that's why he reached out to us. Now the major problem is actually the power issue. Now we decided to use the PoE pass-through switch in this case, but there's a catch here. Because some of the PoE and VR cannot process 4-channel IP cameras. So in this case, you cannot directly add your switch to the PoE and VR. If your PoE and VR cannot process 4 cameras at the same time, you will need to connect the switch to the router first and connect the router with your PoE and VR. Now, let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you what we need and the whole setup. So here I am in front of the board and I'm going to talk about the solution step by step. Let's begin from the end. You can see I already have four IP cameras stick onto the wall and this is the PoE pass-through switch. The PoE pass-through switch has a pass-through feature. That means it can take power from the PoE switch or the PoE injector in order to provide power for the edge devices. It can eliminate the needs for individual power source and also reducing the installation costs. So this is the perfect choice to solve our power issue. But beware, it has 8 ports in total but only number 8 port can take in the power, so it leaves us 7 ports available for the edge devices. Now we have took care of the power issue and it leads us to another question on how can we power the PoE pass-through switch? Can it be powered by the PoE and VR or do we need to add another conventional PoE injector? Now actually, it depends. You have to determine your power consumption of your edge devices first in order to see if your NVR can have enough power for them. Also, you have to determine the kind of PoE standard that you use. Normally, the PoE and VR use AF or AT standard. So in our customer's case, actually, we suggest him to add a 90 watts PoE injector because you should use a BT standard to power our pass-through switch. And the 90 watts PoE injector can inject 90 watts of power through the line through the cable line to our pass-through switch and also it is using the BT standard. Because the AF or the AT standard may not be enough power for them and otherwise you may occur power loss if you use that. So now let's do the connection together. Okay, let's pretend this is our customer's control room with everything here. We have the router forming network, the PoE and VR, and the 90 watt PoE injector. Now I'm going to do the connection. First, we need to connect our router with the PoE and VR. Let's make sure you plug it into the uplink port. 
to get data. And then I'm going to connect our PoE and VR with our PoE injector. Let's plug into here. And this one, make sure you plug into the right port. We have data in and PoE out port. Make sure you connect with the data in port. And then I'm going to power it up first. And you can see the indicator lights are on. And make sure you plug in the PoE output port with our Ethernet cable. Now this side are all set. Let's move over to the pass-through switch. This is the 328 feet PoE cable. And now here comes to the PoE pass-through switch. And remember I said there are eight ports, but only port number eight is the tick-in port. So I'm going to connect the Ethernet cable in the port eight and we can see the indicator lights are getting on. Now it's getting power and data. And since I'm connecting with four IP cameras, so I'm just going to plug in four short patch cord now for faster installation. All right, three and one more to go. Now I had plugged in four short patch cord to connect them with my IP cameras. Let's connect it one by one. We just simply plug in the cord with our IP cameras to get both data and power. So it's pretty simple, right? You just have to plug this one in to get everything. All right. And you can hear the sound. Our cameras at getting on move. And we can see on the monitor, the images are getting on. And this is a live video since you can see my hand moving here. All right. So the whole installation is pretty quick and simple. Now I have one more thing to talk about. This is the outdoor PoE switch. So it can work perfectly outdoor since it has IP67 waterproof design. The working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. That's why it's perfectly to work under harsh environment. And remember, our customers is putting the device outdoor in the parking lot. So this is the perfect choice. And if you like our video, please share it with your friend or subscribe to our channel, Fast Cabling. And thank you so much for watching us today. I'll see you next time.